Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Friday the 12th of April 2013 and it's time for another video. Um, this week has been a bit of an odd week um, simply because um, there haven't been many classes but um, in the grand scheme of things it's given me time to do some other arguably more important things to do um, in regards to other things that have been going on. So, I mean, um, we look at this week, um, a lot of classes had been cancelled for a majority of reasons. Um, this is endless, you know, teach traps and Sears, back Blanc and everything. So, that, that sort of kicked in and everything, but uh, not to worry, not a big sort of drama. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's been fun. So the last two weeks, basically, I've been I've been running, um, taking up running. Running has been an interesting sort of thing for me, and uh, I believe every weekday, other than I, I think it was yesterday and today, I've been running for the last two weeks. But I'm um, feeling a little bit of pain right now in my lower in my lower legs, shin splints going on, um, which are quite painful at the minute. So I mean, I'm not going to be running today either. Um, try and hopefully rest them and make sure they're okay. Um, and also I've been using ISO files and um, using Rosetta Stone to be uh, looking at Portuguese. Portuguese is a very interesting language and for those of you that already speak it, um, congratulations, it's a very nice language actually. Um, I'm unfortunately learning the Portuguese, uh, the Brazilian um, version so differentiates as much Brazilian Portuguese to European Portuguese as much as the Spanish is different between um, Latin America and um, Spain itself, or indeed Australian English to British English, I believe is a better sort of term way of putting it. And you can see some of the panic on the faces of the students there as the exams are closing in. A lot of the terminal lot are getting ready for the exams as they will have those almost immediately after they come back from the holidays. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a short sleeve shirt, so we have holidays now for two weeks, and um, we'll see where that's going. From there, um, I um, yeah, I've been looking at um, different things with students this week. Um, for example, we looked at holidays, but then we also looked at articles and determiners using a, an, and the, but also at the same time looking at holidays. You know, I'd like to, and I will go on holiday, um, and talking about their ideal holidays, which was very interesting as it got a lot of students talking. A lot of the Premier Terminal students, again, we looked at language and society. Should languages, uh, should regional languages be saved, such as those of Welsh and Provencal, and tried to make a link to those of the most spoken languages in the world, such as Mandarin, English, and Spanish, you know, um, as well as um, some other ones. And trying to encourage them to not only maybe learn English or Spanish or Italian, German or Russian, the languages that are offered by the school, but also to... Um, find an interest if they're culturally interested in a country then to learn the language of that country. For example, a lot of students in the classes are interested in um, manga and Japanese animation, so um, I said to them, as a cultural aspect, why not look at learning Japanese or teaching yourself? It's um, quite a difficult thing to do, but it's always worth a shot. So um, there was those sorts of things that we looked at, um, and that was very interesting. Um, and I, I was very pleased with the with the outcome of a lot of students, but um, yeah, last week we were in Marseille. As you saw, the weather was very good um, for the for the second half of it, and um, we we had a good time. So that's that's pretty much you know what happened. There was a fake model zoo set up that has been for now two three weeks. So we went and checked that out yesterday. That was uh, last week. So we I'm sorry, and then um, I got down here last night to um, to uh, to Marseille for for the holidays so there's a zone ABC um, in the um, in France the way they split them in terms of regions and academies um, the academy that I'm in ex Marseille is on holiday now for the next two weeks zone which is zone B zone A will go on holiday um, next week for two weeks and the other schools in zone C will have two weeks left of teaching and then be on holiday for two weeks so um, it's a bit of an odd way, uh, but it's a bit of this their way of doing things. Um, so that's um, quite interesting. So for those of you that um, are on holiday, I hope you um, have a good time. So next week um, we're going to Croatia, um, Monday, Friday. Um, we have a little phrase book here 
Um, Harap's phrasebook are, phrase books are very good. Um, you do have to speak French, obviously. It is a, um, a French language one, but the way that um, the way that they're set out is very easy, and it's very nice, to, you know, especially for us as English native speakers to be to speak to um, speaking to locals of Croatia through the language through the medium of of Croat or indeed French. Um, so we'll be in Zadar from Monday to Friday on the Dalmatian coast north of Split, between Split and Osijek, for those of you that um, are any good with Croatian geography. Um, Zadar is indeed the fifth largest city in Croatia. So those that's, that's what's coming up this week, so I will probably do an early video next week, just so you get an idea of the apartment that we're staying in, um, that, we've, that we've rented for a week, so um, that was interesting. But for those... Um, that do speak French, Harps is a very good um, uh, phrase book guide. It also comes with a map of the capital city. I mean, we're not going to Zagreb this time, but um, we bought the same one for um, the same company's one for Dutch and for Swedish, and we did have a city map for Stockholm and Amsterdam in the books, respectively. So it's always nice to learn a little bit about the language before you go to the country, simply because it's um, you know it's a nice bit of nice aspect of culture to follow on. And uh, speaking of culture, there's a cultural exchange going on in Dean at the minute. There's some some American assistant, uh, some American um, exchange students have come out for a week from Boston, so they're here. And um, I met them briefly yesterday. They seemed like a nice bunch of people, very very excited to be here in France. And um, why not? And for those in the US that watch this video or wherever you are in the world, um, I would encourage you, if you haven't already, to travel abroad. So it's nice, and um, if you know the language and you can understand a bit of the culture, then it's it seems to be an excellent way of um, making new friends and uh, creating links between people across the, across the globe that um, that you may not necessarily have got if you just um, stayed in one place. So um, that's coming up, and then the following week um, we're looking we're we're staying here. Holly and I are staying here on the south coast um, of France. Um, we're going from um, Marseille to Toulon, and then from Toulon to Fréjus and Saint Raphael via um, Saint Tropez for a bit, um, and then from there we'll go on to Nice, and um, and then down to Monaco, Monte Carlo. So look out for pictures of both Croatia and indeed the Côte d'Azur on Facebook in about a week, two weeks' time. We will be in Marseille though for the weekends. Uh, we fly back, like I said, you know, next Friday. So Monday, Friday, we're in Croatia. Saturday, Sunday in Marseille. Monday, then Monday morning, we leave to go to Toulon for the week. So weather's picking up. It's been around um, 14, 15 this week. Um, it's rising to about, it's supposed to be 17 today. I mean, from what I can see out the window to my right, it's um, clear blue sky. So, I mean, um, it's supposed to be a low 20s this weekend and this week, this coming week here in Marseille, and indeed, same sort of thing in Croatia. So this is going to be fantastic for us, um, and then of course the following week we'll, we'll look at it. The week after that then is effectively the final week of teaching, the 29th of April to the 3rd of May. The contract officially expires on the 1st of May, but I said that I'd finished the week because that was, felt like the best thing to do. Um, gives me a chance to say goodbye to, to some of the classes, if not all of them, and to indeed many of the students, um, as well as final preparations on my part for the English exam for the um, for the students in Terminal, which is the equivalent of upper sixth or twelfth grade, depending if you're in the UK or the USA, effectively the final year before university. So. That's that's what's been going on. That's what is to be going on. Um, and for all of those that are wishing for a catch up back in the United Kingdom, I will be flying home roughly around the twenty fourth um, of May. So in a little over a month's time, it's gone by quick. And we will have a video back in the UK, back in uh, back in Monmouthshire. But then also we will have um, a sort of extended video on um, hit um, on what I thought of Dean and what I thought of Provence, but then also at the same time, um, any useful hints and tips for those that are going on a year abroad, or indeed looking at living and working abroad. But um, that's all to come. This weekend, like I said, we're just going to relax, we're just going to get ready before we go to Croatia, 
on Monday, but um, either way, if you've been working, I hope you've had a good week, if you've been in school, I hope it was productive, and all those in what is effectively um, year 13, or any of those that are taking exams, I hope, um, I hope you know, hope preparation's going well for the exams. Um, to all those on holiday, I suppose it's nice for some, but um, wherever you are, wherever you are, and whatever you've done, um, I hope you've had a, a great week. Um, have a great weekend, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next week for a slightly early video on Thursday, but we'll still be published around the same time on the Friday afternoon. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll see you in Croatia next week. Thanks very much, and uh, goodbye for now. Thank